Let's see how to create image masks using PNG or vector graphics. In other words, how to place your image in a vector shape or in some PNG image and to create this kind of punch through effect. Let's go to our Elementor. Let's go to our Elementor page and I will use a Let's go to our Elementor page and use the image widget. I will then choose my image. This will basically be my background image. Let's choose this C image here and click on insert media. I will set the image size to full. So there are two ways to do this. The first way is to go to the advanced tab and go to the mask section. Then set this to on. And here in the shape, you can choose custom. If you choose custom, then you can simply choose your mask layer. In this case, I'm using a PNG image, which means that uh, it's a PNG black and white image. So it means basically that uh, the transparent part of my image is where the mask basically won't show and where my image will show through that will be the black part of my image so this can be for example your logo it can be and some vector graphic as well so it should be black and white transparent png image in order for the mask to work so i will insert my png image here and you can see that it creates this kind of image mask very easily i can set the size uh, to custom and then i can adjust the pixel size of this mask I can also set the position, I can uh, set the repeat to no repeat, repeat and so on. So this is a very easy way to create your mask with just a few clicks. Now what happens if I want to actually create my mask through CSS code? This would be very useful in case that let's say I have many images on my website and I want uh, all of them or a lot of them to be with the same mask and I want to be able to control that mask from a single point or easily to control the size, maybe to just be able to change the mask layer in one click. Uh, in this case, it is very useful to do this through CSS. I will show you first how to do this using an Elementor Pro version and then also how to do this if you have a free version when creating uh, classes. So let's just set this mask property to off for now. Go to the advanced panel and if you're using a pro version of Elementor, you will have this custom CSS field. So click here and I will start by typing selector and image. Then what I need to do is type WebKit mask image. And then I want to set the URL to my basically masking layer, which was this black and white v or black and white png image that you want to use as your mask so we just place that url right here uh, then i basically want to type the same line of code uh, just using mask image with uh, without the web kit part now the reason for this is it's it simply uh, enables this effect and makes sure that the it is compatible with all the browsers so i will type the same code basically the same url as well and you can see that the mask is already showing. Now, first I want to adjust the mask size. So I will type WebKit mask size and I will set it to, let's say, 600 pixels. And I will do the same without the WebKit, so just mask size. Basically, we are uh, making our code twice as long, but this will make sure that it is compatible with all the browsers. Now you can see that this mask is repeating, so then we have to remove that property so we will type mask repeat or let's start actually with webkit mask repeat and set it to no repeat and then do the same thing for mask repeat and the last thing that i want to do in my case is to simply position this mask properly so i will type webkit mask position in my case, uh, you can set these values to percentages, so that it will be actually relative to the container or to this image widget. Uh, in my case, I just want to position it centrally, so I will type center and center for both horizontal and vertical. And I will do the same for mask position. 
And that's it. Basically, we've created our mask through CSS. Now we can just easily uh, change the size of the mask here. And uh, that's it. Now, what happens if you don't have the pro version? And also what happens if you have multiple images on your website that you want to apply the same effect to? In this case, you want to basically, let's just remove this code. I will just copy and paste it somewhere so that I have it on the side. Give me a second to do that. And now go to also advanced panel, a layout and assign a CSS class to your image widget. So I will type here image mask and remember this name. I will click on update. Now you want to use a plugin such as simple uh, custom CSS and JavaScript plugin that I'm using. You will find the link in the description and this will enable you to use the CSS code on your website even if you're not using a pro version. So here I want to type uh, basically the same code, but in instead of selector, I will use something like uh, the name that I just assigned to my image mask, which was actually, I think it was called image mask. Let me check it. Yes, image mask. So instead of selector, I will type here dot image mask and I will keep the rest of the code as it is. If I click on update, let's check our page and see how it looks like. I will refresh it and you can see that it created the same effect through the same code just by simply uh, assigning a class to our image. Now the good thing about this is that if I have another image, so let's say that I add another image here and I want it to be something else, let's say this, but I want it also to have the same mask that I can control from one place, that I can easily just change the size or change the shape or the PNG layer that I used. So I will just simply assign this CSS class that I define here. I will call it image mask, click on update. And if we refresh our page, let's see how it looks like. You can see that it applies the same effect to our second image. In this case, this is very useful to know how to do the same effect through CSS code so that you can reapply that effect on multiple places on your website and also be able to have a little bit more control over these values from a single place. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.